The following program is presented by Kevin Shorey Ministries, whose mission is to fulfill the Great Commission by spreading the word that Jesus is the answer for this world today. Live from Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, it's time once again for another edition of A.M. Kevin, starring evangelist, composer, and gospel artist Kevin Shorey and the entire A.M. Kevin Club gang. And now, reaching coast to coast and around the world with the message that Jesus is the answer for this world today is your host, Kevin Shorey. Well, isn't it a great day to serve the Lord? I'm so glad you're watching today. And yeah, I'm going to say I am so glad that I watched today because the one and the only, the loopers are here, Candy, Jeremy, Coulter, and Caden. And they're going to start us off. I mean, I, I'm i already in, in cloud on cloud nine from just them practicing and doing warm-up. They are amazing. Here they are. Uh, do you go by the loopers or just Jeremy? Jeremy? Candy and Jeremy. Candy. You got to put in the boys. We're actually bears now. Loopers, my maiden name. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you really are not loopers. I am. You're you're a looper, <laughs> but you're. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay. It doesn't matter. They can sing good. So let's <laughs> let them sing. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, whoever they are. <laughs> That's here they are to sing. Hit it, guys. <laughs> Somebody, I love it. I love it. 
Let him be your anchor. That is the whoever they are. No, that's Candy and Jeremy and and the boys. Uh, they've grown up since they were here last. Yes, Some of y'all are fairly new partners and haven't seen them, but they are amazing people that love the Lord. And the music is playing because we want to pray for you. I see you out there today. Laura, thank you. She likes the uh, tie. I, I don't know where it came from, but the wheat and the flowers, it kind of just, uh, I don't know, I start to sneeze just looking at it. it kinda <laughs> looks, but... Uh, uh, I actually think Jim Baker gave that to me, but he didn't want it. So, uh, <laughs> and then Laura in Indiana says, not only love the shirt and tie, but what a voice Candy has. Great harmonies as well. So I'm glad uh, y'all are watching today. God, I thank you that every good and perfect gift comes from you, that you are the God that heals, you are the God that restores, you are Jehovah Jireh, our healer and provider. Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You're our banner, our cover, our peace, Jehovah Shalom. And I just thank you that you are bringing peace to everybody within the sound of my voice today. And you're gonna strengthen and encourage us today. And I'm just thankful that we have this opportunity through this program to encourage folks and to lead people closer to you. For you are the yes. answer for this world. Touch Laura and Todd, God. Darius and Judy out there in Texas and Larry and Rowana and their, their friend uh, Wally and he needs to touch and to deliver from this cancer. Be with Sherry, Nancy, Isaiah, all my Idaho delegation. The Arkansas delegation. Rick and Fritzy and Robin that's watching right now. Mel and Catherine out in Virginia. God be with the uh, all those that are not only watching live, but will watch this program in the next 24, 48 hours. And we speak healing by the authority we have in the word that says, by your stripes we're healed. The healing is the children's bread. That you sent your word and healed our disease. And by the same power that raised you from the dead, God, you said we'll quicken our mortal bodies. I speak healing in bodies, mind, and in re restoration and healing for families. And we're not going to be poor in 2024. That was a proclamation you said to proclaim, to tell people, to declare. So we will not be poor in any way, poor in health, poor in, in spirit, and uh, poor in our bank account. Every transaction we partake in, every career, business, job, uh, and ministry of God's people, every transaction will be successful. We proclaim every goal will be met. Every God-given dream will be accomplished. We, yes. we are part of the FBI. Favor, blessing, and increase. Yes. Success, Hallelujah. fruitfulness, and prosperity is ours in every endeavor, and we Praise will Lord. not, devil, hear this. No matter what, because we don't have the love of money, we will take everything that we, every resource God gives us, devil, and proclaim that we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. May that be this nation's mantra and motto, God, that we will be one nation under God. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We speak renewal, awakening, revival, whatever you want to label it, but we know we need this nation to become a Christian nation again. We speak peace, especially at election time, but peace in Israel, peace in the Ukraine and Russia. I speak peace on this earth, and I also at the same time say, Lord, come quickly. We are ready for your return, and we praise you. There's Phyllis and Bob. Bless them out there in Arizona. And, uh, and uh, Miss Fritzy, we love her for sure, and are so thankful for her ministry. And there's Joyce down in Florida. We have now made the whole cross, folks. We got we're from, from California all the way over to the east coast of the, over to Virginia. We've got Arizona and Texas in the south, and we've got in Florida. And we have our northern people as well. I think we'll go far as north as Tennessee so far. Idaho counts as north, I suppose, for sure. But I thank you, God, and I praise you in Jesus' name. Bless Candy and Jeremy and their boys in the name that's above every name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Well, I certainly love you, and I'm so glad you're watching today. And I really believe you're watching on, uh, you're here by appointment that uh, there's no coincidence. I, I, I'm too old to think that there's any such thing as a coincidence. I don't really think there is anymore. I think it's always a setup by God, and God set you up for today to receive a blessing. They are going... They're going to sing you happy, but uh, I hope you get a little uh, little laughter in because laughter does good like a medicine because I, I got a little joke of the day, but also we get up every morning because we know it's the day the Lord has made. Yes. 
And because many, 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 many people have made thousands and thousands of days holidays, there is three, four, five, six different every day. And did you know that April the 9th is a holiday as well? And I picked this one because I like his quotes. On this day in 1963, the year I was born, pom, 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 <laughs> this happened. Oh, I got to play the dancing frog because it's also frog month. April is frog month. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> Every day is a holiday, celebrating some person, place, or thing. And here at AM Kevin, we love to acknowledge each and every one. Here's Kevin with today's special day. Well, in 1963, President John F. Kennedy made an honorary citizen of this great man. There's only eight in the history. I said eight. <laughs> Eight in the history. <laughs> that was that was six. <laughs> this is uh, eight people, including Mother Teresa, and uh, let's see, Lafayette, who helped us in the Revolutionary War. That was a good thing. Honorary <laughs> citizens. There's only eight of them, and today is Winston Churchill Day, and Winston Churchill was made an honorary citizen by President Kennedy. He was not able to come to America to receive it, but he watched it by television, and uh, President Kennedy said, we honor Winston Churchill today, and here's some of the great quotes. This is what I love. This is, uh, this is some of his great quotes. War doesn't determine who's right, only who's left. Right? Isn't that a great one? And of course, the big never ever surrender, right? I, I like that. And it's, there's a whole big speech. I don't have time. I want to go fast. But I like this. He says, I don't need to be pushed or prodded. He said, I am the prod. Mm. And I go, that's what we should be for sure. And then we have to take our medicine with a joke of the day, which is also another true Winston Churchill quote. All right. So let's take our medicine. Well, it's time for Kevin's Joke of the Day. <laughs> That's right. Winston Churchill said this to a lady who did not care for him. Her name was Lady Astor. Lady Astor said, if I was married to you, I'd put poison in your coffee. Where Winston Churchill responded, if I were married to you, I'd drink it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? <laughs> I think I want to use that. <laughs> and that was Kevin's joke of the day. <laughs> yeah, I love that lady that laughs at the end of that. Anyway, enough of that stuff. I, I do want to remind you again. Oh, and thank you, uh, Mel. By the way, Mel and Catherine out there in Virginia, happy Resurrection Day. We fi finally got the... I think mail's going slower for some reason. Uh, Miss Laura, I still don't have that card. I'm really nervous about uh, the card you said that you sent and all, but uh, we'll keep looking. She's the one that sends me too these packages of oolong tea that I drink. So this is Laura tea. She paid for this arm. This is a Laura arm. Praise this is all Lord. of it. I know, I love Laura. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Anyway, so uh, let's see. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying. Product placement. You can become a partner of the AM Kevin Club for just eleven dollars a month, because eleven rhymes with Kevin and heaven. Uh, eleven dollars a month, you become part of the AM Kevin Club. And we'll send you this mug. We had three that just joined up uh, last week. We were thankful for Sharon and Gary and Travis, uh, Kansas and Kansas City and Missouri, all, all that area saw the light. I guess I don't know. But for eleven dollars a month, we'll send you the mug. You get our monthly newsletter. Although. March, I didn't get a letter out. I apologize. So I'm going to make a real big letter for, no, I don't know, maybe two letters in April uh, to make sure you get it. But normally you get the monthly newsletter. Hey, Pastor Beatty out in St. Louis. Uh, I'm just uh, thankful for the partners, but I encourage you to help partner with us. And Mel, thank you. He had sent in his AM Kevin Club in this beautiful card. This is a nice, beautiful card uh, with, with the forest and the animals in the forest. What animals are there? <laughs> oh, I see bunny rabbits, I see turtles, and uh, I see just big logs. I don't know, it's really pretty. Thank you, thank you. The artwork by the Children's Hospital of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, this card was created by Olivia, who was nine years old. Isn't that oh, wow. awesome? So I'm going to put that right, well, not that, there we go. 
Thank you, Mel and Catherine, for your partnership. And thank you, every one of you. And for $20, two for 30, my new CD is out. It's called Can't Stop Now. And you see what, what I did there with the Can't Stop Now? It's a, it's a green <laughs> yes, light. So, green light. Like, so you're always on green. It's because a preacher told me that when it comes to the Great Commission or doing anything for God and making decisions, it's always on green. Unless God gives you a red light, you're always on green. So I've always remembered that. I wrote a song, Can't Stop Now. Anyway, uh, here we go. Laura says she's sending off the package with coffee, tea, and her monthly uh, donation, and shipping, too. Wow, that's so awesome. I think she won a Bible yesterday. So she, we, we do prizes on Monday, and so gave away. Anyway, I'm babbling because I want to get as many songs. We always have four charted for artists, but that's for the average. These are the above. Oh, I shouldn't say that because <laughs> some of these guests won't come back. They're all awesome, but these guys are so awesome. I want to get as many songs as I can. And this one goes with, if you missed uh, last night, what is, is today Tuesday? Yes. yes. Last night, I did a Bible study. <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> I call my soapbox sermons, and it's called uh, Grow Up, Don't Make God Throw Up. Oh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> and, and it's a study from the journey in, in using the children of Israel and Moses and their study and their journey that they did going forward because it took them 40 years 40 to grow years. up, and it's yeah. really wasn't God's will. You know, they were only like nine or ten miles away from the promised land when they left Egypt. Once they crossed the Red Sea, they were only like nine, eleven miles, something like that. And but yet 40 years they wandered instead. We need to grow up. We need to go. But I'm telling you, when you go on the journey, you'll sing the song that they're about to sing. Is that a good setup? Yes. Call Worth the Journey. Ladies and gentlemen, Candy and Jeremy and the boys. Come on. <laughs> I'm facing another long and winding road. Oh, and I love the forest, see, I'm not sure which way to go. My vision's in peril, and I can still hear his voice. You see, it's calling me. Saying, pick up the cross and follow me. For it's work. Never seen a river that was too wide Or a mountain that I could climb Cause it's a worth the journey For when my Jesus face I'll see For him in heaven is where I'll be For it's a worth the journey had an issue of blood Yeah, she had a great sickness that she could not overcome But then she heard about Jesus coming into town performing great miracles She knew that just one touch of his garment and she'd be made whole For it was worth the journey Never seen a river that was too wide Or a mountain that I could climb well, It's a worth the journey When my Jesus face I'll see With him in heaven is where I'll be For it's a worth the journey For it's worth the journey When my Jesus face I'll see With him in heaven is where I'll be backwards wow I, I love it i love it where did you find that song did you write that uh one? yes sir uh, that's kinda, awesome uh, quick I'll, I'll make a long story short but uh, okay i was holding a revival in spencer tennessee probably about 20 years ago i haven't I heard of that one spencer. and um <laughs> my father-in-law we traveled with my father-in-law coleman looper for a long time for the last 24 years of his ministry i did 
And I always heard he was a minister and a singer. And I always heard him say that he just wished the Lord would give him a message he could sing. Mm. And uh, it kind of happened in reverse order for me. I was holding a revival that night, and the Lord gave me a message. And out of the message, the Lord gave me the song. And the thought on the song, or the message that night, was It's Worth the Journey. Yeah. And uh, the Lord gave me that, uh, woke me up in the middle of the night. You ever had that happen, you know? Yes, and, sir. And the Lord Many said, times. grab a pen. And I really didn't write it. The Lord wrote it. I just kind of held the pen while he just told me what to write. And oh, um, totally. I did. And God blessed. And uh, that God uses that song everywhere we go. We was actually, that was our title cut on our album that we've got out now. And uh, in 21, we got the news that it was nominated for a Dove Award. Yeah, so, I was going to uh, say, we was, you got uh, Dove Award yeah, nominations. We was, we was very tickled with that. Shocked, but uh, tickled. Very but uh, <laughs> but it just shows and tells us that God is hearing the message. Yeah, he really is. Now, you've been doing this 30 years or so. Is that is that still right? Because you don't look like, you're probably in your 30s. So when <laughs> I you started been at on, three? I've been doing this about 27 years now. Yeah. And I've yeah. been longer than She's that. She's been oh, since before she was born. <laughs> yes. Were you part of a singing family as well? Uh, or? Yes. My dad, Coleman Looper, I started uh, singing actually with a group besides them, the little kid specials, when I was age 11. Wow. And if I tell you how many years, then we'll. No, then we'll know your <laughs> yeah. age. It's okay. We don't it's have to do that. It's been a few days since 11. <laughs> uh, this is a mandolin, right? Yes, sir. Is that, is that Marty Stewart's? That's Marty Stewart signature. Autograph. Look at that, folks. Yes, oh, sir. Wait, I'm going to make sure I touch it before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. We need Marty on the show. But you also, you do hang around some pretty uh, important, famous people. Your new project is being produced by one of the Isaacs, oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Yeah, ben yeah. Isaac, for sure, right? Actually, the project we got out. Yeah. Is, uh, oh, is it? Produced. And yeah, produced by him. The Working yeah. on a Journey song? Yeah, and all? yeah. All of that oh, we've done today. He produced yeah. all of it. And he actually uh, backs us up on some of these things on there with us, too. Wow. Yes. Yes. Well, we got to get that. We, is it um, candyandjeremy.com? Yes. So yes. we got to go there, folks. Candy, Jer candy and, is it an and? And, an A and D. An ampersand or, no, oh, a and, the, or yeah. the and sign, yeah. yeah. Either way, you can Google it that way, Candy and Jeremy. It'll come up, so. It'll get it. You're going to have to get these songs. And uh, Ray Cooper, who we, we're going to have lunch with here in just a little bit, okay. he says he knew Coleman Looper. Oh, oh wow. That's your father? Yes. yes. Wow. He traveled for the Lord uh, 63 years. He said he came to my church when I was growing up. Oh, what wow. part of the country? Well, he was in Tennessee, I oh, think. Okay. Ray, oh, yeah. well, we can ask him at lunch. Okay, but, yeah, you know. we will. <laughs> but for sure. Uh, so what was it Tennessee then? Y'all were mm -hmm. both from? Tennessee. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from the, Na I grew up in Nashville. Okay. And then uh, my family is actually from Charlotte and Dixon, Tennessee. Okay. And, uh, but Candy, she grew up and, and is from around the Crossville, Tennessee area. Crossville. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know Crossville. Yeah. We travel all over. Yeah. Yes. Is it Crossville has the new Buckies? Is that what yes. Yes. <laughs> Just ask a big it. guy about the restaurants. Uh, name a town, I'll tell you a restaurant. But uh, <laughs> Jeremy's a foodie too, though. Yes. He was telling me about some Dixon oh. places oh, that yes. I, did, I didn't know. And uh, so, were the boys born and raised here in Tennessee as well? So y'all are real bona fide Tennesseans. We are Tennesseans. Yes, we are. I love We've that. Like my wife. Everywhere, but they. They're Tennessean. They're yep. Tennessean. And, and raised this way, did you always know that you were going to do this as a calling as early on? Or did you, like, you know, well, some minister's kids yeah. <laughs> well, decide, well, I ain't going to do that. Well, that's kind of like she was a minister's kid. Mm -hmm. My dad is a pastor. Yeah. Has been all my life. He still pastors a church in the Belshire community on Oak Hickory Boulevard in Nashville. Okay. And uh, he PK. pastors a church there. Belshire Church of God of Prophecy. Right. And uh, his name's Terry Terry Bear. That's the church I go. You know, that's the denomination I go to in the Bahamas. Oh, okay. okay. They're big okay. over there. Yeah, and uh, he, he's pastored all my life. But so I was I was raised in church, and that's kind of how I met Candy. My dad uh, took a church in Crab Orchard, Tennessee. And <laughs> you are uh, naming names I have oh, never heard in my yeah. life. If you don't know it's there, you can't okay. find it. But uh, <laughs> and that's kind of we moved there. We're on the other side of Crossville, and that kind of while we was there, uh, I met Candy. My mom yeah. and dad moved back. I got in married church? and stayed. Oh uh, yeah, yes, of course. Best All of place. the dating was church. Yeah, yeah. funny. Singing. The funny thing was, I was a, I was actually when I met her, I was a drummer. And all uh, we got a pastor in Indianapolis. He makes us tell us every time we come. Yes. He said he was a drummer in an alternative Christian rock worship team, and now he plays bluegrass. <laughs> and he went into what? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's worth I the journey, it. right? <laughs> No, we were married. He was asking about the boys. We were married for 12 years. Yes. Yeah. And uh, ministering full time. Uh, we was on the road. I, we kept at least 200, maybe more, maybe less uh, dates a year with my father. 
And so we was pretty full time. So by the yeah. time we had children, yeah, the Lord blessed with these kids. These are miracle babies. We were told we wouldn't have them. <gasps> so they're miracle babies. So Praise immediately Jesus. the Lord told me, homeschool them, take them with you. Yeah. So and and so that's this and, is all um, they know and they love it. They I, love it more than And I am <laughs> always in awe. I say this to every not just because you're here playing it in front of me, Coulter, but anybody that plays the banjo. <laughs> is a genius to me how you can move those strings and all that and you don't even have all your picks today right (laughs) so he's just (laughs) it's just a magical to me and it's amazing and in this space and then this uh (laughs) did uh caden you always know you're gonna get the biggest instrument is that (laughs) bigger than you and play oh yeah yeah Caden, that was his dream yeah. since he was about this tall. He Caden's always wanted to, he wanted, he called it. He said, I want to play that great big bass. Yep. That's awesome. And, uh, and he, you he loves, so he well. loves Ben. You yeah. know, Ben Isaac. And he's like, I want to play that thing he plays. And, well, we started him yeah. on a, um, the guy that used to play and sing with us some, we, he started him on a cello. He converted a cello. Wow. And then you, yeah. could, you yeah. could put the stand on it. We converted the cello. So it wasn't the cello cello. It was the cello made to a bass. Into yes. a bass wow. because it's smaller. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But, um, and then he grew up a little. He did. But uh, he's only 11. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he looks older than that. But he's he 11. Does. Coulter on the banjo is 14. 14 and, and 11. Uh, but we're really proud of our kids. They just, they, I'll tell you what it is. And, and we're real ministry minded people. That's who we are. And they really love doing something for the Lord. They do. That's awesome. They love worshiping their Lord and, and telling people about Jesus. And that's what, that's what wow. we're all about. Yeah, amen. Well, if you have a few more kids, you'll have a full band. <laughs> really. <laughs> but, uh, we're busy, bro. Yeah, you're too busy right now. Uh, but uh, where are you? Um, so you've got a new project that will be coming out, right, that you're we're working hoping. on. But you yeah, have we're a, hoping, hoping to, have it to get going soon. soon on it. Yeah. yeah, but you guys have been everywhere from the Grand Ole Opry, Dollywood. It says the Ark Encounter. I want to get to the Ark somehow. Oh, we yeah. had uh, Angela sing oh, or somebody. Wonderful. We've had a couple guests that have been at the Ark to play and yes. sing. And I was like, how do I get that? I want to get over there. It is wonderful. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure they loved you all. So your Dove uh, nominations were not just for the uh, for the song, like, but you're uh, considered bluegrass, bluegrass country roots. Country bluegrass roots. country roots, and yeah. that is definitely and what southern. you southern. I think they stuck us yeah. in the. It's got a three category. Yeah, thing. bluegrass country I love roots. It. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And if awesome. y'all can't tell, they have a heart for the Lord and just leading people to Jesus, just like we do around here. We love this, and uh, let's do the cla- Let's do the classic. I love this song so Jeez. much because it really yeah. is our testimony, isn't it? He's always working on this building. <laughs> And uh, as you can see, he's got a lot of work to do, a lot of construction on this big building. Anyway, here they are again, Candy and Jeremy and boys. Come on, working on a building. Man, 
hand. There we go. I was you giving it. here. I'm, I'm giving you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's great. <laughs> Let me give you a little quick word, and then come back and sing. Here's our. It's time now for your daily devotion with Kevin Shorey. Now here's Kevin. Awesome. Uh, they're coming back. We're, we're going to try to fit in. I think we can. We're really, we're going fast. It's really good, 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 good. Because uh, we maybe get three more songs out there. I don't know. We're going to make you work work for your lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm kidding. You know, I was rereading Matthew 18, 19. And you know what it says. Where two or more agree on any one thing, it shall be done of our Father in heaven. It, and it's that power of agreement that we got to understand if it wasn't important, Jesus would said. Jesus never said anything that wasn't important. But so I really believe, and if you had title this Devo, it would be strengthen your prayers. How do you strengthen your prayers? How do you take your prayers up another notch? You can strengthen your prayers according to Jesus by just having one more person agree with you. Have that person pray with you. Not to be ashamed or afraid to ask somebody for help. If you feel uh, your prayers aren't getting through, double them. How? Get someone to pray with you. Triple them. Get a third person. It, it, it's why um, uh, I, I encourage on this program to, that we pray for one another, that we're not just uh, called the A.M. Kevin Club because we're some clique or some group that think we're set apart, you know, from everybody else. It's so that we can be a group that prays for one another and lifts up one another and encourages one another. And uh, God has answered prayers through this program and through us praying for one another in such miraculous ways. I mean, we were praying for our brother with cancer. God, he's now 100% cancer-free. The There's more than Praise one. The that's Randy, and that's Mike, that's here in Tennessee and in Iowa. And now we're believing for Marsha out in Praise Oklahoma and Tara in Missouri. But we know if he healed before, he can do it again. And I believe there's yes. just like strength in our Praise prayers Jesus. when we double it or triple it by asking someone to pray Praise with us. Uh, you know, there, there's power in prayers when we just pray alone. I really believe that. But I think the Lord wants us to come together. It's unity. You know, unity gives the, the, the devil a, a black eye and a headache that no aspirin or Tylenol Advil take away. Uh, Lone Rangers uh, are, are really fiction because Lone Rangers in the church is not what the kingdom is made up of. We all need each other. Christ wants his church to need each other, to share with one another, and draw closer together. You know, I found a, a camaraderie and a friendship and a fellowship with, with uh, Jeremy. And I'm afraid to call them loopers. I don't know what their <laughs> last name is anymore. Bear. bear. Just like a bear. It really is bear. It is bear. Yes. B-E-A-R. Yes. Like yes. Well, that's cool because I love animals. Uh, <laughs> but I, I just can't bear it. Um, the, <laughs> like the bears, I feel a fellowship with them because we all belong with that same thing. And now I feel like, you know, I can... I mean, there are personal things that you don't share with everybody or publicly, but there are things that you need to speak. That's why yes. sometimes it bothers me when someone says, I, I have unspoken yeah. requests. And it's not like I'm getting on somebody because they have an unspoken request because maybe they, they really can't share it publicly, but all too often those secret prayers or those unspoken requests don't have enough power because you're just mm -hmm. doing, trying to be the lone ranger. Oh, but but, um, but And, and you, you shrink back from fear that maybe somebody will know too much or you're too vulnerable and you don't want to open up but most times the power of agreement is needed for your very uh, problem and when you have the power of agreement and it's healthy for you it's healthy for the body of Christ for us to bear one another burdens yes. and, and right you know Christ wouldn't have brought this up if it wasn't important that two or more agree on any one thing united prayer works yes. I know it does yes. if, it, if it didn't um, Jesus wouldn't talk about it. And I know this ministry itself exists because of the power of agreement and Amen. unity in prayer. So get someone to, I, I didn't say it in the right tone I wanted to, <laughs> it sounded mean, but get someone to agree with you today and strengthen your prayers in Jesus' name. God help us to realize that we're not in this alone, that we do have each other and we can lift one another up and we can strengthen our prayers in unity as the body of Christ comes together to lift up Christ and to put the enemy 
under our feet. And anybody within the sound of my voice that doesn't know Jesus, may they find him today. I, I just ask you, just pray a simple prayer of surrender. I want to just, surrender means being vulnerable to the one that created you. Just reach out to him yes. and let him touch you. Let him save you. Say, Jesus, I believe you're the son of God yes. and died for me and rose again. I know that you can wash me with the blood you shed at Calvary and fill me with your spirit. Come in and I accept you right now. And if you do that, uh, tell someone. You can call us. Tell us. Uh, the website is scrolling through. The uh, address is there. Uh, for those who are listening by podcast, we're on all the platforms around the world of podcasts. It's kevinshorey.com or it's P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. And I know that there is strength in numbers for sure. I tell, I, I, it just comes to my mind, so I just got to tell to encourage you. You can look it up on Discovery Channel. I think I was watching Animal Planet and I saw these otters, which I love my otters. <laughs> and... Uh, Otters by themselves are great food for the crocodiles, right? But the otter who is walking, and this is on video, he's just, you know, yeah, having his, you know, and the crocodile comes up to get him and he shrinks back and he makes this noise, this, this ah noise I didn't know they made. Ah! And the crocodile's not bothered by that because he can eat this without even thinking about it. But as he, ah! all of his other otter friends show up and there's a group of them. And I think the, the wow. crocodile could probably still take a bite out of a two or three of them. But with the group in numbers, the crocodile went away and didn't Amen. touch any of the otters. Wow. So we need to rally together yes. and be united together yes. and yes. in strength in numbers and strength when those numbers yes. pray for sure. Yes. You got a prayer song? Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> throw that out there. I should have warned you ahead of time. But uh, whatever you want to do, do that. We got time for a couple more. So uh, do whatever you feel right here, and we, uh, let's do it. This song here just simply says "Steel." All right. It was our last single out the radio, and uh, it, we was proud. It made thirteen in the singing news for us, and uh, but it wasn't nothing yeah. to do with Candy and Jeremy. It's all about the words in the song, and listen to it. I hope it's a blessing to you.
Ken or Jeremy, whichever one, one, I just, you to pray for somebody out there right now that they'll just be still and know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly yes. above all that they could ask yes. or think. And uh, Laura's making great comments, and I agree. We need that CD. I better get one of them CDs for yes, you all, Lee, for sure. And uh, says how, what a beautiful sister that you are inside and out, you can tell. And y'all are just beautiful people, but there's somebody that's struggling and just needs, I was talking, that real song really did go with the Devo. And I'm sorry, I get to, I get to crying when when the anointing (laughs) flows, but uh, I I just, uh, the power in prayer is numbers, but you know, there's times when you've prayed and you've done all, you just need to wait upon God and be That's still it. and just receive. It's, there's a, there's Speak to that, Brother Jeremy. And I, I don't know. I just uh, I, I use this a lot right here. And when we read through the Word of God, I don't know who this is for, but if it's for you, grab a hold of this. Yeah. When you read through the Word of God, understand that there's a whole lot of waiting and standing still. There's yes, not. Because you think there's two places. One, one verse says, stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Now, And the second place I like to go to is, those that wait upon the Lord shall yes. renew their strength. So that. here's the thing. In our business, in our life, if we get busy in our life and, and our spiritual life is, is the same way, busy and running and running and running, sometimes we're believing God to do something. If we're not careful and we do not stand still and wait on Him, we could get out ahead of our blessing. Yeah. And sometimes we have to stand still and understand to see His goodness all around us. Mm, so to be quiet. You know, sometimes in order to listen... To hear things, you have to have things to get quiet. That's right. For you to be able, because if you hear all the noise, of, try to be in an auditorium with thousands of people That's and everyone right. talking. It's hard to hear anyone around you that make any sense. Exactly. But if you get somewhere and just be quiet Amen. and meditate upon God, I guarantee you God will speak to you. And you will hear the exact voice. And here's the thing. We were, ma- and, and I'm an impatient person. I'll raise my hand first. We are an impatient people. We're always in a hurry. But that's a dangerous place to be spiritually. Because here's the thing. We're not made to be leaders of Christ. We're made to be followers Come of him. Come on now. Preach We that. need to follow him. And, and, and it's in those waiting in the standing still that if we're not careful, we don't wait upon the Lord, we'll get out ahead, as the old saying says, get the cart before the horse. And we'll get out ahead of God. And you know yeah. what's wrong with that? It's because we'll be lost because he is the only one that exactly. knows the direction to go. Yes, so I don't know who this is for. We will pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I just ask you to touch whoever this is, God, that we're speaking to today. And it could be multiples, God. You know before we ask and speak who needs is in need of what. And I thank you, God, for that, to be that omnipotent God that's there instantaneously. Lord, we just want right now for you to touch, have your spirit to go and minister to whoever it is that is needing this. Lord, and let them understand that, Lord, just because you haven't showed up yet doesn't mean that you're not going to. They thought Lazarus, while well, hope was gone, you was four days late. But you know what, God? He was right on time. Yes. God is never, you're never late, God. You're always on, you're an on time, God. You're right there. We may not understand that, but God, we just know and put our faith and trust in you that you know exactly what we need when we need it. And God, we just ask you right now, God, that you would encourage in, our, in the spirit, whoever it is, God, that need to encourage it this morning. Lord, that we would speak a word of encouragement into their life. Lord, that don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Just hold on just a little bit longer. Because why? Because the sun is about to come up. Yes. Just like the song we sung earlier, Anchor God. The storm may be raging right now, but oh, hallelujah, just yes. like Peter. The Lord came walking on the water yes. and delivered them out of their distress. Lord, we praise you and we love you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. I know that was for you today. I know this whole program set up for you. And uh, set up uh, one more song. We got. I wish I had ten songs, but uh, keep set up. What do one more song for us? Well, yes. this uh, next set song up. we Wait used to. Yeah, uh, yes. We give culture a second to tune here, but I'll tell you what it is. We used to do this with my father-in-law, Coleman Luper, and a uh, good friend of ours up in uh, Maysville, Kentucky, uh, uh, right outside of Portsmouth area up there, Ohio, mm-hmm. across the river there. He wrote this song. His name is Lester Williams, and. Uh, we asked him, could we record a song years ago on my final home? We did. It just simply says, I can't wait to see what happens on the other side. Ooh. And you know, I get to thinking about it a lot, Brother Kevin. And yes, sir. You know, the, John told us a little bit about it, but I also think about this. The word says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart. That's right. What the Lord has. We can't even comprehend can't what even. waits on us on the other side. But I'll tell you this. 
One of these days, I'm going to get to experience it with all the loved ones and friends I've got waiting on the other side. But most of all, I'm going to see my Jesus. Amen. The one that died on the cross for my sins and yours too. Yes. Amen. So this song that simply says, I can't wait to see what happens. Let's do it. I can't wait to hear the song. Come back again, man. Amen. You have blessed us. To. In the meantime, it is candyandjeremy.com, and yes. uh, you need to get their uh, get their music. Uh, everybody's saying they're going to get it now. I'm, I'm going to get one for sure. <laughs> and uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, I love their harmonies. I love their musicianship. It's wonderful. And uh, so we want to get their CDs and bless their ministry and also pray for them because we're supposed to bear one another's burdens, yes. right? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's Bear, really see. good. Thank you. I'll be here all day. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I, I, I love it, and y'all are welcome anytime for sure. Thank you. And uh, I'm, you're welcome anytime for sure Amen. as well. Amen. Come by anytime here on the AM Kevin Club. Tomorrow we have Mondo De La Vega, my old uh, buddy, partner from the old Jim Baker Show days. He's got a brand new book about his story from gangs to the, the Dream Center to being uh, the co host and hosts many times of the Jim Baker Show now. And uh, so, Mondo, my Guatemalan brother from another mother, will be here on the program so you don't want to miss tomorrow in the meantime push the share button if you're on facebook because that you want to share this you say i don't know how i can be a witness how i can tell people push the share button whether zuckerberg knew it or not share was meant to share the gospel all right yeah, and man. so we're going to share it tell people about the the am kevin club channel on youtube yes. uh, whatever it takes get them to see uh candy and jeremy uh, to see Coulter and Caden. You guys were awesome too. And uh, I want to hear more of your voice. I yes. couldn't hear as yeah. much, but I want to hear more <laughs> next time. But anyway, for sure. Hey, Steve, thanks for watching today. And thanks for your partnership. And for all of you, uh, what a blessing. Another hand. Let's see. Another hand to <laughs> the Bears. To and Jeremy. Caden. Yes. We ask that they be praying for us. We are full time ministry. And we just rolled in. From Shepherdsville? Kentucky. We've been Kentucky? going, going, going for the past six weeks, but we rolled in from Florida not long before that. Yeah. And yes. we're heading tonight, or this after, as soon as we go eat with you, 
for hitting the stand in Kentucky in the camp meeting. Oh wow! Yeah. So we appreciate your prayers. I know you'll get energized. You get energized at the camp meeting for sure. <laughs> That's right. But yes, let's pray for them for sure. And uh, you, you can find all of their stuff, their website, candyandjeremy.com. So please do that. And uh, until we see you tomorrow, uh, push the share button, tell somebody about the Lord, partner up with prayer. That's a strength in your prayers. Yes. And let's let the world know Jesus yes. Yes. is the answer mm -hmm. for this world today. I'll see you tomorrow. This brings to a close another edition of AM Kevin. We're glad you could join us. If you'd like to contact us, you can call us at 844-47-KEVIN. That number once again is 844-475-3846. Or you can write us at Kevin Shorey Ministries, P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. Our email address is kshoreymen at aol.com. And you can visit our website, kevinshorey.com. Join us again next time when we present another edition of AM Kevin. And remember, Jesus is the answer for this world today. AM Kevin is part of the outreach ministry of Kevin Shorey Ministries, Inc., all rights reserved.